That was crazy, D Swall. That was a very, very back and forth affair. It looked pretty dominant coming out from Friendings on the defensive side, but uh, Exeter managing to put up the exact same numbers on their defense and uh, bringing it to 15 13 and overtime on Bind, which was also Friendings' map pick. So coming in. To this next map, we have Ascent, which is this picked by the side of Exeter. Now, we did see this from Phoenix as well last night against uh, against Nutrix. Um, definitely still a fantastic performance on the side of them. They, we will see a very similar comp as well coming out from this Phoenix side. We'll see the double smoke with the Omen on Somboy once again, but Stranger picking up the Viper. <laughs> Certainly. Really good stuff uh, coming out here. Now, it was a very similar lineup to what we saw coming out of Nutrix last night as well. So they did know how to deal at least somewhat with the Sova coming out from the attacking side. Or oh, now it will be, though now it will be uh, the flip. They will be attacking first tonight coming out with a, a push out onto B site, it looks like, on this pistol round. We've got Frenzies. As the predominant buy on the side of the defense. And uh, a lot of light armor on the side of friending. So we'll see how this matchup goes. Cover going out. Party's over. Enemy remaining. Yeah, the attacking side just walking into the absolute mincing machine that was the the flurry of uh, of full automatic pistols there, all just frenzy, frenzied mayhem coming out in this mid position. A lot of these uh, these glitch pop frenzies in particular, very nice. We have got a blast X there come on the side of the uh, the omen as well. Some very uh, very beautiful gun skins in this game, these well. <laughs> oh, I just realized my mic's been muted. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all right. We uh. We do have a second person on this cast, I assure you. I uh, apologize for the moments of silence in between, but uh, that's all right. We'll, uh, we, we have Deeswell now back in the conversation, hopefully. Oh, I, oh. that is my bad. <laughs> I apologize to everyone there. I mean, you didn't miss much. It's just only me passing. <laughs> and now Vicon, he's going to be holding himself in the mid lane here. He's going to retreat once again, as we saw previously with the rotations coming on in. And there's a lot of mid ground position gathered here by Friendians. Oh, what a vision coming out. Great flash comes on out, and they capitalize with that flash with the judge as Prophet with, with his signature weapon. Just finding kills and finding the round. Yeah, Vico there running out of the uh, ammunition on the Spectre manages to secure the final kill there with the classic solid defense once again coming out from the side of Exto on these first two rounds. Uh, again, just pistol rounds going their way as well. Um, Managing to secure those, yeah. both of those in the previous round as well. Uh, this was a trend that we saw with Friendings oh, last yeah. night as well. It was once they got the rifles in hand that they started doing some proper damage. We'll see a lot of the guns carried over here from the side of Exto, but crucially, we have Slobbington with this operator coming out into this A position. He might read up yeah, with the Viper here if she decides to push out. 
getting a little bit of a slow pace this time. Coming from... Oh! Nice little shot there. Straight just flirting with death. And we'll get shot down by the Grim Reaper here as Slomerton runs away. There's only so many times you can peek that. But eventually that operator will get you a profit. Prophet's waiting. He's on the hunt. He gets the judge. Oh my god. Oh, we'll secure the uh, the glitch by Bandle to match this nice axe there. Um, we'll now fall back out of this tree position. We've got the attacking side set up at the very top of mid here. We've got a couple of players over in B. We've got the Rays actually pushed right up into the garage. The Sova drone will recognize her here. We'll get the, the shock dart onto two players there in garage. We'll get them tagged up heavily as far as the omen is concerned especially a little unfortunate there for the side of exto gaming they had dropped the uh the connection to mail i believe it's called uh or market sorry mid markets and vicon wasn't able to get left. in there and spray when they were revealed behind that smoke and they were able to retreat without taking any further casualties but i mean they're already two members down at the moment i feel like they're just going to try and save it here in a little bit of an unusual position but I think it's going to work out quite well for them. They're going to keep their weapons coming in the next round, but it's not going to be a comfortable round for, for friendlies. No, certainly not. It will be a broken buy coming out on Motion and Stranger in particular. Slomington carrying over the Operator as well. No economical damage at all done to the side of Exto. They're going to be able to, to buy into the next round very comfortably. Dr. Sketchy, of course, we've got the uh, the Operator pickup. Sorry, the uh, the Vandal pickup from Profit, which was given handed off to Dr. Sketchy there. We'll see if they decide to come out with the buy this round or whether they'll just raw dog it once again. We've got Motion and Stranger at least being able to buy Light Armor and Vandals. And that's all we're going to have coming out from friendings. Oh, this is going to be a scary little watch down middle. Slobington's got that operator. Honestly? He's waiting for him to peek. He was going to be looking down top of Catwalk, but he's changed directions towards the connect of the B. And it's not going to help him out here. And Zomboy's going to have a quick little peek over the head. He almost gets a kill through that smoke onto his counterpart Omen. And the operator shot's going off. And Zomboy does manage to find the final shot. This is probably like the 13th kill I've seen of Zomboy over the last two matches. Just killing people through smokes with no kind of revelation of what's going on. And now they are ready. They're moving into grass. We're going to see that Cypher pop around the corner on that revel revealed Sonboy. And they're going to get that return because they're going to be pretty happy about that. Prophet, oh my god. <laughs> through the smoke and through the wall from Sonboy as well. We'll see trades now coming back on this A sign. Enough to secure the space to plant for oh, the, the Viper. We'll now see what they do on the post plant. Just going to both cower in hell. One with the guns that they have, we've got the operator from Slomington being able to shoot through the floor. X Bendos as well, being able to spray through the floor with the Phantom. Not a lot of penetration that you get on that gun, but enough to secure the kill at the very least. Uh, no rush on getting this spike down. We'll give it to over to Benji Dose, making sure that the ultimate charge stays equal across the board here. That's another round off for the side of Exto Gaming. That's that's four on the trot. Man, they are unstoppable this half. They're just, their aim is on point. Their execution is fantastic. I mean, it's so hard to go up against this at the moment. What does Friendings need to get back in, get that round win under their belt, Audio Compass? Oh, man. Well, it's <laughs> it's going to be very difficult on this round in particular, as it's going to be a very, very broken buy, as we saw the, the force up onto the Vandals last round. It's just going to be Spectres, Stingers, and a single Sheriff. The, uh, the Omen blind misses. It will be an overwhelming force coming onto Slobbington there, though, so we'll only secure the one kill. Bike on there to trade out at least and one more onto Motion as well. It's going to be three players alive running onto the B side. They'll run into the, the Sova, who Benji Dose does go down to LST, but Bicon holding strong with the Vandal and Prophet cleaning up with the Bucky. Not a lot that can be done there from the side of Friendings. It is all going to be up to this round. Now that they can pick up these these Vandals once yeah. again, get those rifles into the hands. We'll see if they can accomplish anything on this attack. But it has been a very, very solid defensive nice. effort. Just the Cypher being able to lock down a lot of these areas with the tripwires as well as the, the camera placements. But Benji does as well. Five assists. Don't look at his kills. Five assists for the sofa. That's all uh, you need. Get some revelation all the vision for your you team. Need. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and Slomerton's going to find oh. himself another kill. 
It's just, you can't get the operator out of this man's hands. He's just been using it so effectively this match. He's on fire. Prophet's going to throw the flash around the corner. He's not going to find anyone. He's run it back. He's going to get a little bit of information. He's going to pop around the corner. He gets himself a kill just before the run it back. There was no need for some boy to challenge that there. Just needed to wait for that to expire and get away from there. So now there's three members left. They do have ultimates available. But you this is another round that could be lost. Prophet's going to find the kill over the wall. So even with that resurrection, ultimate wait and you got nowhere as soon as the frames of invulnerability ended there the, the issue was put back in her grave the prophet just putting her back where she belongs we've got two now pushing out into main but slobbington who's been solid for one every round with the ob this time he's gonna pick up three that is two more dead in a and this last attacking member is nowhere near the spike Hope it's just going to be a save coming out here from the Sage again. 30 seconds only left. just a very broken economy. They will take the gun out of Benjido's hands at the very least. Uh, it's not going to be super impactful as there's so much econ on the side of Exto. It's just going to be hiding out in Boathouse, hoping that no one pushes. Nobody is. It's going to be potentially the Omen coming out here, but it looks like he's just going to chill in that mid-market position. That was Time will run down. Around there for friendings i mean they are now they're down on funds they're down on rounds they're going to their morale can take a huge hit it seems as we pulled into this round they're still feeling that those lin lingering effects from losing that first match a match they were doing so well and so confident in, had a few match points up their sleeve and ended up falling down to that point and that's coming back to bite them they're not feeling as confident as we saw them on the offense like we did on bind whether that be because exos gaming is just so strong on the defense here on uh ascent or whether they just don't feel as confident on their assaulting side whatever it is they need to try and find some momentum because if they don't get it soon get i think uh way. this could be the end of their run here in the tournament Cover, yeah, we've got Zyfix, of course, carrying over the round. Vandal from the last round. That'll be the only heavy buy. Slomington, again, always good for one since picking up this operator on this map. Just really, really solid play. The Sage Wall will come out, blocking off absolutely no one as the players have already backed off into market. Vicom will pick up one. Benji Dose will go down, but that is the rest of Friendings dead in mid. Slomington getting two Here. with the classic as well. Just very unfortunate from the side of Exto. Oh man, it was a little rough there for Slobinton. He got a beautiful sh first shot backed off, and then all this chaos happened in front of him. He missed his daggers, he pulled out his pistol, found himself two kills. He's like, well, I'm still alive. I can't complain too much there. And they move up 7-0, so we do see a pause coming up now, as we do have a disconnect on the side of Exto Gaming. So as we wait for that mem to re-pause, whew. We have a bit of breather room now Here. to uh, kind Here. of recap what's Here. going on between these two teams. Yeah, it is a very dominant performance as far as the defense is concerned. Exto just holding so strong. Like, just the, the positioning has been fantastic. Making sure they're backing off around corners. Making sure they're, they're, they're taking jewels where they're able to at least, at the very least, trade. Slobbington in particular has been an absolute standout once again on this map on the jet. Uh, the, the kills with the operator since since that has been in his hands from round three onwards, it has been round after round. He's been getting at least one trade on, of course, that last round picking up three or well, the last two rounds while they're picking up three once on the A side, once in that mid market. We now see um, the doctor sketching ha has returned from the disconnect so we have 5v5 now coming into the round we'll see the uh the the teams setting up on the defense and attack so we've got friendings now with the full vandal buy once again they'll have to make something work on this round this has been the only time they've been able to accomplish anything is win with the van rifles in hand we we'll see them setting up for an aggressive push into B. It is only the... We've got the Jet and Omen once again in this market position. We'll see if the Viper and Omen decide to push out as well. But the Phoenix and Tree can oh, potentially no. get the cross side as well. 
that was so close. The recon dart went out. Then we had the Odin spraying through the wall. Now they're moving on to site. They still didn't check. Benjus is here. They heard his bullets, but they're not going to be able to find it. That's two instantly dead. Some boy sneaks around and finally gets himself a kill. Viacorn is alone here in Boathouse, but he is not forgotten as he finds himself a kill. The pit goes down. Some boy and Stranger are left to hold this fight. They're going to have to run into the smoke. And Prophet, he's ready. He doesn't have his judge. He doesn't have his bucket, one but he is ready with a phantom. He sees one. He throws the flash, but Slobington there is to protect him from behind, oh, nice. and they will find this kill. That is eight round yeah. wins in a row there for X Toe Gaming. Bicon just super solid from this market position, manages to, as the door closes, get the teleport onto the other side and get an, a secure another kill for his team. Just two players left to try and make something out of that post plant with the Vipers pit, but alas, that is another round going to Exto Gaming. 8 and 0 oh up. And devastating, not only for the econ, but the mentals as well on the side of friendings. Yeah, Exto playing so well. Slobington in particular, he's just, he's finding kills and surviving each time. That's what you want from your jet player. And at the moment, we haven't seen that from Motion. We've seen three matches of Motion. Motion's usually the top kill scorer. In this match, he's not doing too well. He's lost a little bit of that groove and he's, he's currently the lowest on the scoreboard at the moment. And that's kind of also reflecting in the amount of rounds uh, we see going towards Friendian's way. And they're trying their best to find whatever they can. They get in a lot of position on this map. We see Extra Gaming. They give them a lot of space, but they're so confident with their retakes. Somboy goes up as the smoke disappears, and he will get himself killed. Slomerton's there for his return kill, and there's still one member up. And with no position on this map, Xyfex is actually on site. He's going to get revealed. A few darts go down. He tries to walk through the wall and pops out from the court for profit. So not only do they have position, they're happy to give up the sites. They have just so much great positioning. And map awareness, the stranger pulls out a utility at the wrong time and he dies. It just feels oh. like everything that can go wrong at the moment for friendings is. Well, we just see Exo Gaming have just taken this to another level, even higher than what we saw last game. There's going to be um, another Sheriff and SMG buy. It is... This is this is not looking good on the side of friendings. As far as... As far as their play last night as well, they weren't. They obviously even on the last map, we didn't see a, a massive force from them in the attacking rounds. But you've got to get some sort of foothold here, and it's now nine and zero. Oh. This is a, a, already a worse result than what they would have had on find now. We'll see an aggressive push out onto this A side with the stingers. We'll see Jet taking a lot of that space. We'll see a full full retreat here from Exto. So they will just. Playing the 5v5 retake, they know that they have the better guns for this push onto the site. We've also already taken a lot of damage on the side of Friendings as well. The Sage already heavy tagged. The Jet now gone from the side of Friendings. He will at least trade out onto Benjidos there. See now the Cypher. We've got the Sage does manage to pick up the Cypher in Tree. See if he can upgrade the gun potentially. There is a Phoenix there as well. Vicon will be able to take out Sage. Profit as well. Getting the kill onto LST. Who's... Well, this is now, a bit easy for Sonboy. He's got a stinger. And now Stranger's all alone. And he's not in the position to fight this. The defuse is... No not coming. They don't have enough time. They're going to be able to pick up their first round. They all die. But they've got themselves around. They've done it. Friendings are managing to get at least something going in this game. It will give them a lot better economy as well. Coming into these final two rounds, they will be able to buy up now. Got the full armor and vandals coming out all on that side. We've got Slomington once again picking up that operator though. This is gonna be this is gonna be another very hard test for the side of Friendings. It's gonna be a full B push coming out. It's just the Sova. We did in previous rounds, see the Jet also holding in this mid-market position. It is now only the Omen holding in market, though. So we'll see if they get aggressive here. They could catch off the side of Exto. Man, I love the players from Exto Gaming here. They just, they're willing to give up a site. They're happy to for a 5v5 retake. And I don't think Friendings know what to do against this. Last night, they didn't have to deal with this. Usually, they found themselves a kill, and then they were... They were good to go, but now it's just like extra game and it just had like, we'll give this up, we're ready to fight this, and 
here we see it again. They gave up the site. They're ready to fight this. We see uh, we see a lone server in the back there. Oh, lone. He does finally get picked off, and we do see the advantage going to Friendings now. Can Exto and Dr. Sketchy pull this around? Yeah, the combination of utility managing to get the kill on the secure the kill on the Sova. Doctor Sketchy, however, will get the kill on motion in the back of side. Will take a little bit of damage. LST solid the profit the trade onto profit. However, now just two left on the site. We've got the Viper with the operator. We'll miss that first shot onto Doctor Sketchy. Now just the boathouse hold and the hold on the spike. We'll see the smoke come up. We'll give some information as to that Viper's position. Dr. Sketchy, we'll just he just needs swap. to hold it here. If he holds it, they both die to the bowman. They can't afford to lose these weapons. So he's just gonna trap them in and force them to run out. And as they run out, he doesn't get the kill. So it's a little unfortunate from Dr. Sketchy. He played that well. He played that smartly. But in the end, couldn't capitalize on it. Last and they will survive the there. And Friendins, oh boy, was that another round that they needed. If they can get this third round, they're gonna move into the second half with a defensive lineup looking a little better because at the moment it's looking rough yeah especially like uh, playing the playing the sage uh obviously having that six to nine kd currently is the top of the scoreboard for the side of friendings but uh that's it's not been able to do a whole lot it's the sage wall is much better on that defense where you can really lock down areas Get of the map and be able to uh, take a lot of, of that space away from the attacking team we also, of course, we saw it last game. If if they can manage to pick up this third round, this final round in, in this half, I have faith that maybe Friendings can pull this back, but it'll be a monstrous defensive effort. Uh, not something that they are incapable of by any means, mm -hmm. but certainly it's going to be it's going to be a tough uh, slog regardless. But they need to secure this round. Look at the positioning here. You got one so far in. Mid market, one deep near defender spawn, and Sova ready to retreat at a moment's notice. They're not afraid. Just sit back. They see them moving onto site. Benji's just gonna pop around and <laughs> friend it once again. I just wondering what's going on. It's gonna reveal three of them, gets a shock dart. The op uh, the operator comes on out, finds himself another kill. They're just they're crumbling here, but they managed to find return kills. Actually, even more kills. Some boy is getting all the kills off camera. If only I could switch to the right player, we might see some kills on the screen. I apologize there, chat. But so, wow. I, wow. <laughs> yeah, Somboy picking up that operator, managing to secure the, the, the final kills on the round there. Just a yeah, phenomenal play there coming out from the side of Friendings to secure their third round. And now we'll have uh, Exto setting up on the, the pistol round. We'll see what they can do here. They have been very good on the pistol round so far. It's three for three, so uh, coming through the last map and into this map for the side of Exo Gaming on the pistol. Obviously, once again, going for the frenzies across yeah. the board. And I mean, we've seen uh, Friendings go probably... Uh, <laughs> Maybe one pistol round one over the last three matches, so it's not going to look too comfortable for them coming into this. It is a must-win pistol round, or their hopes could very well shatter here in this half. So, so far there's been no initiation, there's been a lot of utility used. We will see Slowington find himself a kill down towards mid, and they're going to be happy about that, as now Slowington's going to get aggressive. He rolls through the smoke and catches motion off guard, and that's two people up as they now storm through the center of the map. Which way they want to go? Nobody knows. They're going to make their way to B and the Sage. Syfax has kind of retreated the wrong way. He's not going to see anything. And it looks like uh, LST might not want to fight this. I mean, so Friending's all rotating now over to this A site. Um, <laughs> we see now Zyfex running back into site. I guess he didn't hear any of the footsteps coming in there from the side of Exto. Is there was no movement whatsoever, but we will now see Friending starting to square up with the uh, the Rays and the Viper pushing in from the defender's side. All of the members of Exto, however, are holding right out in the open. They are all all have a vision of these entries, and Doctor Sketchy Prophet just gonna mint Stranger and Cyphex as they come through. LST with final victory, flawless round with the frenzies across the board from Exto Gaming.
Oh, that was that was good initiation. They found those good kills. They got very aggressive at the opportune times, catching players on friendings off guard. Then they moved down the middle of the map. Yes, and as we saw Zyphex, they weren't quite sure what was happening. He was a little bit far out. He didn't give enough time for a little bit of information or even to maybe pick off a straggler trying to get into position. And then your three versus five against a retake from Exo Gaming. We've seen how great they are at that walking down sites. And coming back into the side psych, they're, they're scary. Their execution, their coordination is unbelievable at this stage. Yeah, it's been really, really solid stuff all match from the side of Exto. And we'll see them now coming into this round. Full Spectres across the board, other than the Phoenix, I believe, which is just, who's just carried over the Frenzy from last round. Uh, Somboy manages to secure one kill on the B site. Oh, sorry, on mid with the Omen. Kills the Slobbington, pick, picking out a tree here as well. It'll be LST and Somboy managing to come in on this defensive effort through the door. We'll see if they can secure anything. Dr. Sketchy, however, picking up the, the third member, Zyphex, who was flanking in from the, the back of sight. We'll see now just the Cypher holding on sight. We've got the, the kill holding in main. Or the Omen holding in main. We'll secure the kills. Fantastic post plants once again from the side of Exto. Little great crossfire set up there. You had this you had Vicon hiding away in the smoke, waiting. And then they get they showed a little bit of fresh meat there on Good side here. as a little bit of distraction, a little bit of pistol shots coming off. And then yes. as their distractions were taken and they both started to look away, you had their omen pop out of the smoke and help secure those final two kills. Like in that kind of scenario, there's good communication on comms because you're saying hey hold off wait there's good intuition with those heroes running onto site and then they capitalized on the advantage that those that kind of positional and uh communication gave them and they came away at that round it's just it's so hard here for friendies to go up against the side right now yeah, certainly. We'll see now the full push coming through from Exto. We'll see a couple of players picked up now with the spray through the smoke from Somboy. Being able to secure at least one of those. Dr. Sketchy just lurking in this omen smoke up close. We'll see Motion push that one. Managed to secure that kill as well. Now that with the Vandals in hand, they've pulled this back. LST securing the kill on Slobbington and in main as well. Benji Dose manages to get Motion who is pushing out of B main, but the boom bot will let it let LST at the very least knows where he is, but Stranger will be the one to secure the kill as he peeks out. Eleven yeah, to four. LST we're just sitting on the stairs. They were waiting for that as soon as he came out. Just went down without a doubt and um, they've left the uh, bomb behind there and someone's going to have to go back for that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, there we go. Ben just was go back and take one for the team. We all know a lot of players don't like to carry the bombs these days, even in competitive <laughs> here. You Stop. still see it. They don't. They're like, ah, do I have to? Yeah, I had a mate in Discord earlier who's super just like dead serious. It's just I, I play worse when I have the spike. It's it, I don't know what it is, man. It's like it's just because you know when you die without with the spike, you know that your positioning was bad because you know where you've left the spike without your team anywhere near it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a push now coming through onto A. See the Phoenix pushing out nice and early. We'll. Get seen by the boom bot, but won't get killed by that one. Motion and Stranger, however, holding strong from the tree and back of sight. We'll pick up three kills total. We've got down just the two remaining in A. The spike carrier has gone down, and the spike is down on the A side. Somboy picking up the kill on a profit as well. Sobers manages to skip across, secures the kill on the Stranger, but that's going to be it for this round. Oh, no, we'll get Somboy as well, but LST is there to trade it out. Three alive on the defender's side. So this is going to be quite good for the Econ of Friendings moving forward now. It's still one more before we get to match point here for Exto, and it'll be Sheriffs for this round to try and secure that.
Man, that Sova did not <laughs> deserve to get out of there alive. They had the one-way smoke against him, and they had three people facing that way, and then he still somehow turned around and got a kill against the Viper that was reloading. So that was unfortunate for them. They could have come in a little bit more funds, but as you said, they got themselves a full buy up against the get Sheriffs in town, and we've seen some of their aim. And some of their aim has been ridiculous here with these Sheriffs. Uh, if I could switch the jet, we might see some daggers, but they've all been used here on Solberton, so they've lost that utility already. So they're coming in weak. They've nice paranoia comes out getting two people in mid, but there's no one there to follow up that paranoia as it comes on out. So nice little yeah, pick down middle. Motion gets itself some kill. And they're holding strong. Yeah, two players still in mid. We've got the Phoenix who has pushed all the way into market here. Gets the blind onto the Sage, but doesn't manage to capitalize off that one. Sage will now just dip. Dr. Sketchy gets one kill with Zyphex who was pushing out into oh no, who just Z he manages to push one out of B main and kill that one. Prophet getting two with the frenzies. This is looking like a thrifty round now. Just some boy alive at the back of mid and nobody is even near him. They'll get the information that he's there as well with the cypher roll. It's going to be Sova and Phoenix who've run onto A site. He's, in fact, I'm going to see Phoenix run into some boy here. He's going to secure that kill as well. That's a 3k for Prophet on the round and a thrifty coming through to give EXO Gaming match point. Friendings walked into the wrong town. The sheriffs on the side of Exo Gaming were just so strong. Oh, they were popping nice heads one. left, right, and center, grabbed themselves a full weapon kit. And what looks not so great for them, that looks fantastic. And as you said, match point now against Friendings. Exo Gaming are looking fantastic. Well, they got, you know, seven rounds to pick up their final match point in this game. And I don't know. <laughs> it's looking very close to secure because they're just playing so strong audio conference in every sense of the word. Yeah, it has just been solid all around. It's going to be a, a push with three members out into mid here, or just the, uh, the Omen, the Phoenix, and the Drone, rather. We've got the, the server still holding at the top of mid here. We've got Somboy who's pushing out in, potentially into this mid position. We'll maybe see the members on catwalk we've got dr sketchy as well pushing with jet following right behind him this be site we've seen the contact between the omen somboy will win that 1v1 solid out there nobody to back him up motion also gets the kill onto profit who was trying to push into tree that's two kills in mid but the th remaining three members here are now on this b site ready to push in it's going to be 3v5 as they will take these fights dr sketchy kills somboy in Market, that is a huge pickup there. The door will close. Zyphex on the back of side, however, good for one. We'll take out Benji Do Slobbington. Very low health here. Zyphex getting the kill into Dr. Sketchy as well. It'll be the fake out on the plant. Oh, just stepping back into this Viper a Molly as well, but it won't matter. Motion will get the kill regardless with the Blade Storm. And that's going to be 12 6. It's clinging on here for friendings. And we can see it. They picked up five rounds in a row last match. So it's not an unusual thing here from Friendids. They need six. That is one more than what they secured last round. Or last match, sorry. So I, I, I feel like we could see a comeback here. They're starting to feel strong. They're starting to feel comfortable here on Ascent. And it's starting to show they're taking these fights. They're... You know, catching exo, exo gaming off guard a little when they're in the middle of their executions. And we now see the Viper's Pit being used to lock down A. No one's coming that way anytime soon. And Somboy uh, having a little bit of an aggressive peek with motion down here in mid. Yeah, Stranger walking right up here. We will see uh, Vicon who's walked in here, but there's two members to back him up. Stranger will be taken down. That's two kills. Two players taken off this defensive side. Both with... Ultimate. So, well, the uh, the obviously the Viper's Pit now are going down entirely as a result of Stranger's death, and LST dying with the Showstopper still yet to be used. There will be kills traded back. Zomboy, very solid on the retake here from Tree, will manage to secure the kill onto Benji Dose at the very least. The spike will go down. It's two members on site. They're both going to hold on the side. They're both going to be blinded, but in fact, by this paranoia. Somboy managing to kill, secure the kill on Slovington. Profit good for one onto motion, but Zyphex will take him out from that heaven position. And that is another round going the way of Friendings. 12, 7, and now the economy is broken on the side of Exto.
Man, we're starting. To, we've seen some great paranoia coming out of some boy this match. We saw it a couple rounds ago where they're able to secure the kill on Slobberton in mid. Now we saw it there where they got both the blinds on the site and they were able to push in, coordinating the assault against the blind people. I mean, that's unfair if you ask me, but they managed to take the round and now they are up. It is just wonderful the skill they're starting to show us where was this at the start audio compass they wouldn't be in such a do or die situation this is them trying to hold on to their round of 32 chances to make it into the round of 16 and continue their hopes here in the open qualifiers one yeah it was it was nine maps on the trot from the attacking side oh the from the defending side on the first half it's gonna have to be at least seven it's gonna have, yeah, it's gonna have to be seven here to be able to get them to where they need to be. At least Slomington is gonna secure this kill onto Somboy. It's not looking good first, at the very beginning here from Friendings, the door will close. We've got the Jet who's on the other side of that one. We'll peek out into this mid position. Maybe we'll catch the Phoenix on the rotate with the Sova. No, X, X goes Prophet will shut that down. And now we got Stranger who manages to get the kill on Sketchy who was pushing into mid there. You got Zyfex holding this position as well. Zyfex will peek out now. We'll get the kill onto Benji Dose, but Prophet will spray him down. It is now 3v2. The B site is empty, so we'll see the spike coming through here from Slobbington. And the push come back out here from the two bottom players on friendings stranger and lst they'll push spike through planted. the defender spawn and we'll see it now the spike plant comes through we have we'll a shoe stop now there. approaching Can this through the back of make the the impact it wants to, or will LST stay with the Get weapon and way. continue to shoot them? We do hear the Jets throwing those daggers out. She is not playing around. She wants to end this game right here, right now. Somerton is going to continue to cloudburst up, continue to lock down the sight lines. Strange is going to come in. The time's going down. They don't have much time. They need to get here on sight. Goes up here, does not find themselves a kill. Stranger gets one. Stranger gets two. But Stranger, does he have enough time to get the third and get to the bomb? The bomb is ticking. The bomb is almost nigh impossible to get now. Sorbenton will finish it and we will see X2 Gaming taking their second match and moving on into the round of 16 here in the Oceanic Valorant Tournament. Super solid performance, of course, the nine rounds in a row on defense definitely go a long way to helping that out, but that is going to be the end of the story there for X uh, for Friendings. That is going to be Exto Gaming moving forward, 13-7, a very, very tight first map, and it looks like it could go all the way once again on that second map, but alas, the defense, the uh, attacking effort just too strong in the end from Exto Gaming. Friendings not going to be able to hold that one out. It's still, great play from this side. Uh, we we did see Somboy in motion. Very good players on this team. Definitely a lot of potential here on this roster. Um, but yeah, we'll, we will see them going home in this round of 32. And we'll be moving Exto on to the round of 16. Yep, and so just for you all to be aware, round of 16 will be coming up tomorrow night, same time, same place. We will be having another match for you here. Myself and Audio Compass will be bringing you one of those matches. There are plenty of other streams out and about for the Valorant Oceanic Tour. Make sure to check them out and check all the players and teams that are currently competing. Support your Australian scene and support this wonderful tournament. This is the opening qualifiers, as we mentioned at the start. You try and earn yourself some points so you can make your way to the international scene. And this is the official road to do it. I've been D-Swell. I've been joined alongside with AudioCast. Uh, sorry, AudioCast. Audio Compass AU. I'm, <laughs> at least I botched your name as well. So, uh, it's uh -huh, not just yeah, the like, players. <laughs> let's, let's botch it all around. We got... <laughs> we got DS uh, DS Wall. Uh, thank you very much for uh, for having me on. It's been an absolute pleasure to cast alongside you once again. Um, yeah, just a very very fun game tonight. Yeah, I mean it was unbelievable what we've seen from both these these teams. And uh, thank you TW Itch Chat. It's been wonderful having you along with us once again. We'll be here again tomorrow night with potentially the same team. We might see more extra gaming if they're happy to have us along, or some other teams are showcasing the talent. Have a wonderful evening, stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.